Hi, it's Pekka from Gokbuge and welcome to workshop. Today is small day for the mankind, but big day for me. Over here I have a new accessory and the newest thing about this is that this is the first component I have designed with the new uh, CAD program, Autodesk Fusion 360. So this was a big thing for me. I did want to just make one major component Fugi with that program to learn how that works. The idea, I'm designing also new Megamax with that program, so I, I did want to test how it works. It works nice. Over here, so it's UVC gator, how the tipping body will look like, but this is the main frame for that. So, bottom plate, this will flip around and this is also how I do work. I get this kind of bent laser cut and bent components. Then I uh, weld those together. Of course, this is now prototype. First component, there is always some mistakes. So I have been also measuring over here and checking that everything is all cool. This far, I have found two minor things that I have to update for the next drawings. I want to grind only once. I don't want to grind every component. When I notice something that I have to grind, then I just update the drawings and have new components. You can also notice how I like to do tack welding. These items are full of holes, these kind of slots. So this comes over here. I have also bolts over here. Those go through, so to make the tack, before tack welding, I have to position some components. I don't use fixtures. I don't like about fixtures at all. I love to make that my component is a fixture with all of these slots and notches and holes. Then, then I pull those together, tack weld, and make that fast. I can make only one component. I don't have to make 10 components to be efficient. I can be efficient even with one component. The sides for that will be made from the aluminium. That is not for the gravel or stones or anything. This, this is now new tipping body for the uh, smaller, uh, light, more lightweight components like firewood or uh, energy chips or something like that. Yeah, let's continue with this and see what will happen next. I did just weld this component, which will hold uh, this tipping body over the body. This will be in the back, just bolts over here and then support under the rear frame. Then I will, over here we have this kind of bushings. So then there will be axle going through over here. And the next step, what I will do, so I did just weld this. And you might notice that I have over here this kind of welding supports. The reason is that if you weld something, everything just wants to go like this. So you need to have these kind of supports. But these are this actually pretty fast and simple to place. I have this kind of super special tool. I use this for more or less everything in the welding. And then I now it's it a stupid face. This is the most simple way to take those away. If I use the angle grinder, uh, it will make marks over here. Now I just have to grind that smooth and nobody will know that there has been some supports over there. Next, I will uh, weld these bushings over here. I will use this component to find correct location for this correct location. So I will place this and then I have the Axle going through, then I will tack weld it, then I will uh, most likely I will flip this around, weld in the other side, then I will flip it this again, uh, final weld this side, and then we can actually, I think even first time we can take this over to body then. Yeah, let's start to work. 
uh, tipping body is now the steel structure is ready. So what I did over here, I did weld over there that end of the scoop, and then if you did, I did place those bolts, and also like otherwise those also this was there was cut and cut and cut. I did feel those. Well, I love steel because just like a mic, chi 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 chi, and then grinding, and you get it done. I'm using two different kind of grinding machines or grinding types. I usually I do everything with this style. And then for the huge flat areas I use this kind of fiber. These are super good for this, but these are more or less in every other cases the good ones. Uh, my life is it's it might if you are not working in the mechanical <laughs> jobs it might be thing, it might feel kind of small thing about what kind of grinding equipment I use but actually with this this grinding is about half of the time so that makes a big difference and when work is faster cost is more reasonable so also the selling price is more reasonable so that's why this makes difference yeah next why I will actually lift her over the Bullet. And let's see how she fits over there. I did lift the box over the lock bullet. I have over here one lock bullet. This will go to customer, but it's waiting for the delivery. So I did mount over there under the frame. And after that, I did lift down the, that steel part. And also, I did start to mount the aluminium component. She's, she looks nice, but the nasty thing over here is that I did order these components to be bent as mirror, so same cut, and then at, at once you can uh, bend up, and at once you bend down. Uh, it was almost perfect, but they forgot to make those mirror, so now I have like that one aluminum over there, which I cannot use. humans make, so I had to spend some time and make the reclamation for my supplier that hey, I would like to have this bent correct, let's hope that they will de deliver that to me so that I can continue testing, yeah. That, that the kind of stuff happens, it's not first or last time. Time did passed by from the last video. After last video, I have been welding like crazy. I have today, or I have to drop today stuff to the paint shop. It's, I have to reserve that three weeks, one month before. And then they specify a date that I have to drop my stuff over there, and today is the day. I will drop also this frame over there and two lock bullets. I did get now the correct side panel over here. So over here is the wrong one, and over here is the right one. They did just bend that for me. I did also weld over here this kind of tube, because how I will mount these? Uh, it's super hard to weld aluminum and steel together. So I will use over here both connections. And then I will have over here this kind of rod. This actually, this is just, these are, these pushings are the same thing I use in the lock bullet, super flex. It, there is no idea always to design new components. You just have to think that how you can use the current components, then you have usually the correct component also in house. And you can also make smaller sets or smaller series because you don't have to order like two of these. I can order 40 of these. That makes those more reasonable price. Next I will mount this rear panel over here and start to think how to have this locking system. Let's see what will happen. I didn't plan so much how to make this rear part locking. So actually this is what shows I have to little adjust this. I will adjust that to next one and I, I will also move this lock little behind over here. It's it's not major deal. This is it's also working over here, but 
it's useless to have this like in front over here. The limit could also go over here, so 20 millimeters, so 25 millimeters, one inch over there. Then it's better. I did design this kind of component. It comes over here to keep this rear part in the good position. I, I will do the second one and then I will grind those, uh, have those to my, uh, with other components which are going to paint shop, disassemble this tipping body, I take also that to the paint shop at the same time with lock bullets, and then after some time I will assemble this. I think the next video about, about this will be when it's ready. Yeah. I hope you did like the video. This was a little like behind the skin, skinness, shins. I don't know how to pronounce that, sorry. Uh, video, how to make this kind of uh, stuff, how I designed this, how I manufacture, what is like my idea, how to manufacture stuff. Yeah. I hope you did like the video. If you did like the video, please give it a thumb up. And if you haven't yet subscribed to Rockbox YouTube channel, please press subscribe. So we see in next video. Thanks a lot and bye.